I figured I'd share with you some of what this uh, New York Times editor Barry Weiss puts in a resignation letter. Remember, New York Times is the the grand uh, cathedral. They, they probably wouldn't like to be called that, but you know, it's the I don't know what's what's the what's the proper way of saying it. Um, the Superdome. How about that? <laughs> it's the Superdome of leftist uh, journalism of Democrat aligned journalism in America. It's it's the most elite newspaper, even more so really than the Washington Post. And uh, yeah, they've lost their minds over there. That's that's for sure. Barry Weiss in her resignation letter has the following. Um, this is, I guess, for this is to Salzburg or the guy who owns it, runs it. It is with sadness that I write to tell you I'm resigning from New York Times. I joined the paper with gratitude and optimism three years ago. Blah, blah, a voice to bring other voices, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Good stuff. Twitter is not on the masthead of the New York Times, but Twitter has become its ultimate editor. As the ethics and mores of that platform have become those of the paper, the paper itself has increasingly become a kind of performance space. Stories are chosen and told in a way to satisfy the narrowest of audiences rather than to allow a curious public to read about the world and then draw their own conclusions. I was always taught that journalists were charged with writing the first draft, a rough draft of history. Now history itself is one more ephemeral thing molded to fit the needs of a predetermined narrative. Wow. I mean, this isn't a surprise at all, right? It's just somebody from the inside, a liberal, my friends, who would disagree with you listening to this, on 90% of stuff in life, or maybe 70%, she's a little less crazy than some of the others, but would disagree with you almost all the time, and was an editor at this paper, and she's resigning, and she is telling you what I tell you every day about the New York Times, and what new, you know about the New York Times is, in fact, entirely true. It's true. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not right-wing radio. Rah. I'm not sitting here, you know, they're the worst. They hate him. They're terrible. You know, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just telling you the truth. And it's amazing that this is what it's come to. The most famous newspaper, or arguably, I think pretty clearly, in the country is run by, she says, Twitter and the opinion of libs on that social media platform. I mean, Twitter has effectively destroyed the facade of journalism because you have all these people who now don't have to go through an editor, don't have any quality control over their sharing of thoughts. And they're telling us, I'm a huge leftist. I'm a Marxist. I'm a lunatic social justice warrior. Oh, I'm now just covering national politics on the front page of The New York Times. And I swear I have no bias. As if we're all morons, right? As if we don't know exactly what's going on there. A little more from her. Resignation letter. My own forays into wrong think have made me the subject of constant bullying by colleagues who disagree with my views. They have called me a Nazi and a racist. I have learned to brush off comments about how I'm writing about the Jews again. Several colleagues perceived to be friendly with me were badgered by coworkers. My work and my character are openly demeaned on company wide Slack channels where masthead editors regularly weigh in. There, some coworkers insist I need to be rooted out if this company is to be a truly inclusive one, while others post axe emojis next to my name. Wow. Still other New York Times employees publicly smear me as a liar and a bigot on Twitter with no fear that harassing me will be met with appropriate action. They never are. There are terms for all of this, Unlawful discrimination, hostile work environment, and constructive discharge. I'm no legal expert, but I know that this is wrong. Oh, yeah. Sue him. Go for it, Barry. Sue the New York Times into oblivion. Go for it. I think this is fantastic. Uh, they should be sued. Um, it's, they're, they're, this is a great, a great letter. Basic, look, it's worth reading the whole thing. I won't read it to you all on air. Um, Producer Mark, maybe we should post it on BuckSexton.com. I don't know. If people, do you think people would like uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, tweet, I'll tweet it out. I'll tweet it out. Um, but it's amazing. 
Uh, this is my favorite thing. Why edit something challenging to our readers or something boldly only to go through numbing process of making it ideologically kosher when we can assure ourselves of job security by publishing our 4,000th op-ed arguing that Donald Trump is a unique danger to the country and the world. <laughs> it's totally true. She's telling you the truth. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from The First, please click subscribe.